Evolutionary ecology lies at the intersection of ecology and evolutionary biology. It approaches the study of ecology in a way that explicitly considers the evolutionary histories of species and the interactions between them. Conversely, it can be seen as an approach to the study of evolution that incorporates an understanding of the interactions between the species under consideration. The main subfields of evolutionary ecology are life history evolution, sociobiology, the evolution of interspecific relations and the evolution of biodiversity and of communities pristine. Natural environments that have been relatively unaltered by humans are of particular importance in evolutionary ecology because they constitute the environments to which any particular organism has become adapted to over time. Evolutionary ecologists Charles Darwin, whose theory of natural selection is essential background to understanding evolutionary ecology and had explicitly include population dynamics. George Evelyn Hutchinson, Robert MacArthur, Eric Pianka, Michael Rosenzweig, David Lack, R.A. Fisher whose 1930 fundamental theorem of natural selection recognized the power of rigorous application of the theory of natural selection to population biology, evolutionary models. A large part of evolutionary ecology is about utilizing models and finding empirical data as proof. Examples include the Lack Clutch size model devised by David Lack, the 1968 model on the specialization of species by Richard Levins, and Lawin Dieckmann's models on mutualisms. Current research Research is going into how organisms became social, the evolution of sex, the evolution of specialization and many more.